Brothers Hot Rod, part two of Project Ford. The pig's still a little bit dirty, so I'm going to be doing some more cleaning, and I'll show you what I'm up to, so stick around. Yesterday, Joey brought home Barry's pressure washer, and he goes, Dude, if you use this head, Barry said, Be careful, because it'll take off paint. And I looked at him, and I go, Cool. <laughs> I think he intended it to be a warning, but me, you know, I'm thinking sanding time. And I don't really want to sand a whole bunch. Because, I mean, not only do you have to sand, like, all this, but you got to get all the concrete junk off, too. So, no. It's all coming off, dude. If at all possible. I got to get this backboard off. And it seems to be held on by these bolts that are spinning, so it'll be fun to get those off. Might have to hacksaw them or sledgehammer it off. That damn thing didn't want to come off. I had to grind some bolts. I'm just going to pull it off. I gotta go throw that somewhere and then uh, I'll start spraying it, man. Here's the after. I know it doesn't look much different. But as you see by all the water and some of the derbis down on the ground, uh, it did actually get sprayed. A lot of junk came off at of the back end, man. That was gross. It's going to require some scraping and some wire brushing, too. No, I did try to blast the paint off. It would not come off. Barry, your pressure washer is some weak sauce, dude. The inside does look better, though. This thing was is the grossest thing I've ever come across. It's just disgusting. Okay, I was like blah blah about what I was gonna do, and I decided to uh, grind some of the rust off. And this is like you know just starting. There's like nasty spots, so I got to get to those. And yeah, this right here took two hours, <laughs> so. I'm going to keep going as long as I can and not die. I had to move this over because all the dry grass, man, I was spitting sparks. So I'm just thinking, yeah, there you go. Burn down everybody's house, dude. So it's this is what it looked like before on the other side. It was way nasty, and I got it to that. It's going to get further clean when I put a wire brush to it. I just wanted to knock down some of the bigger chunks. But it's smooth, it's smoother than it looks, so there's not really big deep gouges, no big deal. Joey and I are gonna prime it. So uh, once it's primed, then we can send sand and sand and sand. So yeah, I'm starting to get weird, so I'm gonna get back to uh, grinding this junk. All right, I got a little bit more done, some of the sides now. And this is done to here. I was going to start working on this other side and I noticed that one of these support members for the uh, the deck is busted. So I'm going to fix that. Ow, ow, ow. Wow, that metal's hot, man. I'm starting to get grumpy because it's so hot. <laughs> I'm all yelling at myself. Come on, Anyway, I'm going to weld that up. I might even take a break, have no duels or something so I don't have heat stroke. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. Contact. You know, welding in sandals is probably not a good idea, but you know. All right, now I gotta grind it down. Woohoo! More fun in the heat, dude. 
Oh man, there's like a hornet's nest right there, dude. For those of you that saw this yesterday, when I was vacuuming, I said the bottom fell out. Look at all the dirt in there. That is no joke, dude. That all came from inside that truck. Ew. Oh man, let me go show you the weld. Got the temp seat all mocked up. <laughs> we have successful joining of both metals, Captain. Good penetration. Down low. Down good. It's all good. <laughs> God, man. Getting zapped by these bees. They're mad because I uh, stole their little hive back there. I gotta move this big old pig. Put it somewhere. You guys will want to hear this thing start, dude. This 460 is loud. Put your trays, your seats in their full act positions. Alright people, the metal's getting way too hot to touch so it's time to like shut this project down and go inside. There's probably going to be a lot more of this grinding and cleanup so I'll save you those episodes and come back when I'm actually getting some solid work done. So thanks for tuning in and watching Bethel Brothers Hot Rod.